have um have you seen Rachel around? No, I haven't seen anyone. <laughs> okay. How have you been? Um Decent, I suppose. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Rachel's here. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think that was. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> ah, that's fine. I wasn't trying to race with you guys anyway. It was good to see you. Good to see you too. You know. God. What? Look at you, it's like looking in the mirror of your mother. Everyone says that. I was, I was really taken back. <laughs> Hi, uncle. Are you okay, Rachel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, who's nice this? Hi. Jesus. Good to see you. Oh, you have brown hair. No more whiting. No, I haven't been got a chance to dye my hair in like months. How you doing, Ivy? Doing good. How are you? Good to see Not you. Bad. Not gonna lie, I, had, I, had I went running. all the way to Blackwater to come back here. Oops. <laughs> I had a bit of a heart attack when I seen Abby. I was just, I thought I saw Ruby. So I was so, yeah. I was so taken back when I came up. I all I said was say hi. I just. Hey, yep. Jeez. We got a lot of new faces around here. I can imagine. God, mm. so much happened after the last family meeting. Uh, so you know, uh, same Holt, your competitor. Yeah. He's a a good, good Colt brand now. Okay, it happened. <laughs> it happened over tomato toast. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it happened over tomato toast. Cause she had been sending a ton of telegrams saying, um, you know, I'm looking for the recipe for tomato toast, and we. Day after day, week after week, I kept seeing the same telegram. And finally, she sent one saying, I'm just looking for recipes. And then I was like, I telegrammed her and I said, well, did you find the recipe for tomato toast? It's like, you know, reading a book and you never get the last chapter. And she said, no, but I'm really close to figuring it out. And then I ran into her in Rhodes. And so we just kind of worked on getting the figuring out tomato toast. And then yeah, that's how it kind of all started. And then basically, she's uh, she, she basically told us a little bit what, what was going on with her. That, um, you know, at first she was, you know, a Delgado supporter and all that. And then when she uh, was almost done with her term as governor, she realized she was just being used by them and thrown to the side. And she realized there were a lot better people out there. And so she, she's been hanging around with us and uh, a couple other people actually too. Because we don't Band have expectations of her. We just allow her to be herself mm -hmm. yeah. and treat her well. We don't, we don't, hey, beautiful. Uh, we don't want anything for her. So we're not like using her friendship to gain something from it, I suppose. And I think she finds that really refreshing. Um, and then a couple, we have all, a couple new faces as well. We just buckled, uh, Fander. He's, uh, an old friend of Amber's here. This, you know Amber, don't you, Scarlet? Deputy? Talk him better. Not anymore, <laughs> sweetheart. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say, all the good deputies are not deputies no more. <laughs> yep, uh, that is the truth. Vander, you said? Vander, yep. Yeah, you'd like him. Okay. We have uh, Maverick, too. Maverick Mercer. He's the brother of Felix. 
As Felix. Ah, uh, he's a gunsmith right now. He he took a long time trying all different avenues of figuring out what he wants to do in life, but I think I talked to him yesterday. He says he's pretty happy doing his gunsmithing. I think Felix has found yesterday. himself, to be honest. Yeah. About fucking time. I was about to say he took him long enough. He's also my quote unquote drinking buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He, uh, once he officially gets his tools, he's offered to be the Colts' official gunsmith. They don't sound too bad. No. Is that a gun you have in your side holster? Yeah. Can you pull it out? Oh, I'll pull it out. Wait. Ah, oh, Jesus. Listen, this isn't anything new with Scarlet and I, so. Oh my god. You want to touch it? I want to give my own a touch. Need a bath. <laughs> Here, look at it. It's got a nice uh, engraving on it, too. Hold on. That's gorgeous. Felix did my rifle yesterday, too. Hell yeah, it's really nice. Oh my god, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Look at Felix. Yep, so his brother is the gang. He's been really good. We have uh, another hang around, I guess, if that's what you want to call him, Samuel Faraday. He's a good egg. He's been hanging around us a lot longer than Vander has, but I think it, he didn't actually realize what he wanted to do for a while as well until Vander came along. Then he started right. showing more interest. I think uh, Mav helped with that too. I like Sam. My God. I feel like I have not sit here in a lifetime. I'll enjoy it. No. After our maiden up north, I went down to sleep in the bank. I woke up. These men snatched me, brought me all the way out to Wyoming. I didn't know where the fuck I was. What the hell was going on? Had me locked up in a cage for days. Hey. Knew a lot of things about me. Things about my past. And, uh... I don't know how much time passed. But I was... I finally got out. It was the middle of the night, I got a gun. It was sleeping. Put one down, then the other. By the time the others woke up, I'd take it off. I had no sense of direction. I went north, I went south. I ended up finding Baxter. Got sold off, some family. Just east of there. And, uh, sold them off with all my things. Once I'd figure out where I was, I'd 
So I'm make my way down here and I just... Feels like it took a fucking lifetime. Just glad you're here and that you're okay. I'm just surprised I ain't dead. Well, I'm glad you weren't. I don't know what they were doing, but they were trying to get a lot of information from me. Like the cults. How'd I manage to get away all these things? Want to take a ride to Wyoming and settle with that? No, not now. I just got back. I ain't leaving anytime soon. Ready? If I'm gonna settle there, they're gonna have to work their ass all the way back here. How's, um, what happened with Delgado? <laughs> well, latest news is we, uh, almost had him. We followed him back to, uh, the Braithwaite, um, mansion, and, uh, he just, uh, was inside being a coward, and, uh, we finally figured out he fell asleep. It's amazing that they want, that they're allowing, uh, first-degree murderers into Braithwaite. I, as far yeah. as I know, he's not a fucking clean slate. He can't get one. So, it's ironic. So, when Wyatt and I were in Annisburg last night with Sam, prior to her being almost eaten by a, uh, <laughs> a, or a cougar, I spoke to a Deputy State Marshal, Elizabeth Ashbrook. Yeah. Okay. Which I like her. And I said, is it common practice for you to allow civilians to take up arms in the Braithwaite Manor, which is a government building? And she's like, and she just shut it down. She's like, that's something that's being worked on and will be situated soon. Okay. Mm. How about the rest of the fire in that? Mm, most Wayne, of them are in hiding. Yeah, I was going to say Wayne, Liliana are in hiding. Um, the other ones that we know of that are firing line are Aaron Hunter, Lucas, and Jack Don. Lucas has been around. Uh, Aaron here and there. Yeah, he's still been around, but Jack Don, I haven't seen anything of him lately. Jen Walters is a under sheriff, and she's fully supporting of the firing line. And that bitch needs a bullet in the back of Even her head. Even though she fucking says she's not, but it's mm -hmm. fucking bullshit. Yeah, same with Grace Watson, who is a state representative, Delgado's girlfriend. Yeah, for now, for now. Uh, it's like parasites. Yeah. Other supporters are Anna Conrad, Ellie Conrad, um, Theo Brown, Theodore, Theodore Brown. Brown. As far as we know, right now, Jebediah Wilkes, but because Grace is brainwashing the poor guy. And Enya. I have a list. I'm gonna go in my head for a minute or two. From what I have, uh, most of these are supporters, but I heard our old pal Ben Powell. Oh, yeah. Uh, to be honest, Lucas he Joyce. Does a, he deserves another bullet just because. Yeah. Luke Bourbon, obviously the Dagatays, Andrew Allen, whoever that is, Fern Wilder, Declan O'Connell, uh, and somebody named Morty. Morty, Morty. Yeah, I was just about to say it sounds very familiar. 
the rest are, you know, the obvious, like Jen, Grace, Lucas, Lucille. Jen deserves a bullet. Where's that check? Jen's been deserving of some. Should have shot her that day in Blackwater. That's what she was fishing for. An escalation. You know, I feel like the whole five and nine mentality, because that's what it is at this point. Dias the second, Delgado and the Dakota's die. The only thing's keeping them alive, the mentality, is the fact that they're still alive. Well, that and breathe weight. <laughs> right. But to be fair, if the firemen land goes, it's just going to be another people taking their place. Because what, first it was the men of mayhem? That's a fire in line. I wonder when people will start to realize that the Colts have been through it all and we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Hmm. That there ain't nobody out there that can knock us down, make us feel worthless. They underestimate us. Mm -hmm. You can't take family from a family. Nope. At the end of the day, that's all we care about. You know, I think the last thing I remember about you, Scarlet, is when we had that problem down in Blackwater. The uh, one with those uh, Italians? Yeah. I think that's the last time we actually saw each other. Yeah. They you missed you, though. Him? No, God, no. I miss you too. I miss all of you. Jesus. How long have you been gone, Scarlet? I think. Two months? Yeah. I was still a deputy when you dueled. Uh, God, what's Fowler. that name? Fowler. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. I've been with the cults for fucking two months. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? I guess so. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. And Scarlet, so since you're here, I know I've already said it to everybody else. I'll read you later. Then I don't have to say a word. No. I just, my head's still so red. I know. The thing is, it's just, when you got no sense of time or place, it just, everything just, it's a hole, you know? Yeah. I understand that. Hell, it was cooler when I was around, and now I'm just sweating in this fucking cold. <laughs> well, 
I at least want to say to your face that I'm sorry that I wasn't here. It ain't your fault. There's so much that we could blame on each other for so many things, so many occurrences, so much shit that goes on. That we'll end up jading our view on each other. It's the last thing that we need. So many reasons. For us to turn against, be upset, and fall in on each other. It makes it so much harder to pull some good ahead of it, but there's good, there's always good. Old. I can give you some pointers if you need them. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> like Ivy said, and I'm not trying to disregard anything that um, either of you said, but you're both here now. And that's what matters. Just take one step forward and as the future comes to us, roll with the punches like, uh, well, like you guys have done. Well, now with, you too. Yeah, I was just going to say we, but uh, I mean, I feel like the only thing I've really truly done has been, I mean, I've supported the family when we've gone hunting and shit like that, but haven't uh, had my, haven't had my test yet. And I'm waiting for it. I know someday it'll come though. All right, let's rob a bank. <laughs> I mean, I've already robbed a store got away with it and I've helped somebody uh, shoot somebody else. So there's that. You feeling all right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> and we got this little fucking spitfire over here and just like her fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Like, literally any fucking time, Ivy. Yeah, she's a troublemaker, too. She'd be just like a mother. Except oh. I can stay on my horse. <laughs> <laughs> that better. gene has gotten passed to Reaper, I think. Because she ate tremendous amount of shit back behind us over there. Well, she did on the, uh, on the last ride, too. It's funny. Are you going to be around, Scarlet? Yeah. Because I'd really like to know you better. Gonna be around. Gonna take a minute for me to settle in, but Good thing about living, yeah. you got all the time in the world to do it. Just don't squander any of it. Yeah, God knows up. I have enough. Or God will cut your nipples off when you go to heaven. That's so aggressive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe we can finally go on that date, Scarlet. Okay. Um, she just got here. I'm joking. You're already trying to get your dick wet. Joking. Filthy, filthy uncle. <laughs> I didn't think I wanted to say, but I couldn't say it because <laughs> I mean, just said that. Say it. I, I can't. I forget. <laughs> I had all these thoughts just start flowing through my head, and I don't know if I like it. <laughs> oh, 
Lord. Any of you going to be awake later? Yeah. I am. All right. I need to go to sleep for a little bit. Of course you do. What? Go enjoy your sleep. It's oh, really I good will. to see you for 10 minutes. Good, good stuff. Has it been 10? Probably like nine and a half. I round it's been like 20. Shh, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, it's rude when people like confuse the situation with facts. Just saying. I'm sorry. I'll keep my facts to myself. Goddamn. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. Scarlet will leave the Bye. door. Bye. Fuck me. Oh, no, I mean... um. I will. I'm under the oh, understanding God. that the bedroom in the back downstairs is yours, Scarlet. It is. I mean, you're more than welcome. I, I share the bed with anyone at any point. <laughs> in, in, in that way and in a, a normal way. But if you're more than welcome to take the bed, too. Did Rachel go to fucking sleep or something? I don't know. I think she's just thinking about something really hard. Okay. My only rule and stipulation with my room. Anyone can sleep there. Just don't kick me out of my own room. That's it. So long as that don't happen. And this. Peachy's pie. 